Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. Today I got an interesting matchup for you. We're going to play the Giants against the Giants. We're going to play the 2017 Yamuri Giants of the Japanese Professional League, the Japanese Major League, against the 1982 San Francisco Giants. And I am going to be the manager of the San Francisco Giants and the computer is going to take the Yamuri Giants. The Japanese League, one thing that it strikes me about the Japanese League is that a lot of the pitchers, like especially the, well, first of all, they have a ton of people on every roster. And the starting pitchers usually don't have a lot of innings. Like the most, like it's like the most you're going to see from a starting pitcher is like 130 innings. And you've got a whole bunch of pitchers that'll have like starting pitchers, starting that can also relieve, that'll have like 36 innings, 82 innings, 45 innings. It's very interesting, their rosters. But anyway, um, I didn't want to try to pretend that I would know who would play well. Although, as you can see from their lineup, we go through their lineup. Yo is in center field. Kobayashi is a catcher. Then you've got Casey McGee at third base. Now, you might remember Casey McGee. I remember him as a Milwaukee Brewer in uh, baseball and Major League Baseball. Then you got Sakamoto at short. Then you got um, Abe at first base. He was, uh, I want to say he might have been a, a Major League player. But in any case, he probably is somebody that played in the States and, uh, and went to Japan. Then you got Chono in right. Kamai in left, Nakai at catch at second base, and then uh, Taguchi is the pitcher. For my team, we are going to end Taguchi, yes, Taguchi pitching for them. Now, for me, Bill Lasky will be on the mound. Some of you watching that knew me growing up might know the inside joke on that one. Maybe we'll get into it as the game goes on, but Bill Lasky will be my starting pitcher. For the home lineup, we have Chili Davis in center, Joe Morgan at second, Jack Clark, one of my all-time favorite players in right, Jeffrey Leonard at first base, Jim Wolford in left, Bob Brenly, the, the former manager of the world champion Diamondbacks at catcher, Tom O'Malley at third, Johnny LeMaster at short, and then, of course, Lasky, the pitcher batting ninth. And so, without any further delay, let's get on with this game. And you can see we're in beautiful Candlestick Park. And there's Bill Lasky's photo. Now, we're not going to have photos of many, if any, of the uh, Japanese players, um, obviously. But we do have Bill Lasky's nice mug up there. And so, we will get on with the game. He deals to the first batter who gets a base hit. So Yo got a base hit, and that brings up Kobayashi with a man on and no outs. And it looks like he struck out. No, he got it. He moved the runner over to second. Yeah, it was a, a fielder's choice by Lasky. So here's McGee. I don't have. I should have a, or could have a picture of him, uh, but I don't. And he was he was pretty good. Uh, I'm surprised he went to Japan, but anyway, he did. And so Sakamoto is up with two down, and man, man at second. Lasky hoping to get out of this inning, and he does. He strikes him out. So, we got Taguchi on the mound, and there's Chili Davis. Chili Davis, the leadoff batter for our Giants. For our Giants, not the Japanese Giants. And there's Joe Morgan in his Houston uniform. The photo is. So, that's a very young Joe Morgan. Joe Morgan rips a base hit, and there's Jack Clark. He love, love Jack Clark, don't you? No, probably a lot of people, don't, but he was one of my favorites growing up. And uh, that's going to be a double play and gets him out of the inning. And so Abe steps up 
Shinoki. Oh no, I guess he. I guess he is Japanese. Shin, Shin, Shinasku. I don't know how to pronounce that first name, but anyway, he is up against Bill Lasky, and he hit a home run. Did he hit a home run? He did. So the Japanese Giants, the Yamuri Giants, are leading the San Francisco Giants one nothing, with Shono up at the plate. Somebody took Lasky deep. Unreal. Now, I don't know if you realize this, but many people say that the Japanese Major Leagues are equivalent to probably a, like a quad A in the uh, United States. Not quite Major League, but better than our um, Triple A um, Minor Leagues. And Kamai just hit a double, and so he's at second with Nakai up. And he's going to hit a ball up the middle. Okay, runners hold, but there's one out. Taguchi up, hoping he can strike out. Can he please just strike out? He does hit a ground ball, though. Maybe a no, not a double play, but no run comes in. No, no run comes in. So there's two down, and Yo is up at the plate. Come on. Come on. Let's get some out. There's a fly ball. Looks like Wolford might play it. No, he didn't. That was a base hit that knocked in two runs, and now the Japanese team is ahead 3 0. Yeah, Murray's ahead 3 zip over San Francisco. And Kobayashi is up. Reminds me of that uh, Starfleet on Star Trek, the Starfleet train module that uh, many command students have to go through at Starfleet Command, <laughs> the Kobayashi Baru. But anyway, uh, here's Jeff Leonard, the first baseman. And it looks like he might have gotten hold of one, maybe a home run, but possibly at least a double. And it is a double, so Jim Wolford will follow him. Home, no outs, Leonard at second. And he hits the ball up the middle, and a runner speed 16. I'm sending a runner. And I'm going to send the trailing runner, too. And he makes it, and uh, yeah, whoa, we don't get a run. They gun the man at the plate. Oh, come on. All right, Bob Brenly is up with Wolford at second now and one out. And uh, that's an out double play. So... Yeah, uh, Bill Lasky got his work cut out for him. So, um, uh, I'm trying to remember the story that I had about when I was a when I was a kid. We were in a we had a Stratomatic League when I was a kid, and McGee gets a single, so he's aboard for Sakamoto. And um, I, um. I was get. I guess I was getting frustrated with the season. The season was um, winding down to an end, but I was. I had a terrible record. I had a terrible team. I was getting sick of playing it. So um, let's see. Um, we're just gonna pitch. Um, so I told everyone that I lost my team. I didn't, I didn't really lose them. I did. I hadn't lost. You know the cards. But I told everybody, yeah, I lost the cards. I don't know where my team is. Now, the back then, that was a it was a card base league. So you had to have the cards. You couldn't play the game without the cards. That looks like it's gonna be fly out to Wolford for two down and McGee at first and Chono up. So um, I made up the story that yeah, they must have died in a plane crash. So <laughs> So what they did, what the commissioner of the league did, was he gave me um, a choice of the players that were undrafted, that were not on any teams from the minor league players, or from the teams, the players that weren't on a team. I'm going to throw to second at 35% chance. And he made it. He made it. All right. I can't believe this. I never win these games. It doesn't matter what team I take. I can take the 27 Yankees against the um, uh, 1962 Mets and and I would and I would lose so Kabai is up he strikes out <coughs> <coughs> so
so we're up and Tom O'Malley's at the plate. Uh, we're down still only three nothing. Luckily, oh, um, Lasky didn't give up any runs that inning. So anyway, to finish that story, I had a bunch of guys that were not on anyone's team to finish out the season, and one of them was Bill Lasky. We came down to the end of the season, and here's Bill Lasky himself batting, terrible hitting card. And we came down to the end of the season, and the last game of the year, I was playing a guy who was vying for a playoff spot with another guy. Um, both of them, obviously, both of these guys were friends of mine, really good friends. Um, the one was Scott Smith, and he was the one I was playing against. And the other was Chris Dufour, who you've probably seen on the channel before. If not, I'm sure you can go back and see some videos. Um, I played the he played the World Series against me of my uh, round robin tournament. He also played the National League uh, Championship Series against me in my round robin tournament. But anyway, uh, uh, Chris Dufour uh, was up for a playoff spot, but. Scott Smith had to lose, and he had a great team. And I pitched Bill Lasky, and Bill Lasky came up with the win. He was the winning pitcher in that game, and Yo is double with two down here in the fourth, which is over for the Murray Giants, and now we're up. Back at the top of the order with Chili Davis. And so, yeah, Bill Lasky, a guy that wasn't even drafted by anybody, wasn't on anybody's team, and was on this, like, makeshift, um, patch-it-together team, ended up beating Scott Smith's team and eliminating him from the playoffs and propelling my good friend, Chris Dufour, into the playoff picture and for that year. And that was 1980-something, 1985, I want to say it was. Um, 84 or 85, I'm not sure what year. And here's Jack Clark, one of my favorites. Um, and so yeah, that's a funny little story to tell. Um, Jack Clark, did you go deep? Come on, tell me you got out of the part. Uh, no, just a double. These doubles are killing me. If they'd both been home runs, it would at least be 3-2 here. Two outs, Leonard has to come through with a hit, and he doesn't. Looks like he is going to be out. And he is, and Bill Lasky goes back out to the mound. Also, I want to put in a plug for anybody that's watching this game on uh, Thursday, October the 21st. And what's that? That looks like it was an out, fly out of the park. And that is, and, uh, you know, other networks do this, so the Sportsman Z network is going to do this, too. We're going to put in a plug for McGee hitting a home run. Come on. I'm not going to put in a plug for that. But unbelievable. It's 4 nothing, you Murray Giants. But anyway, I wanted to say that on uh, Saturday, October 23rd, if you're watching this before the 23rd, you're getting a heads up about this, I am going to do a card and dice football replay of Super Bowl 55 between the Chiefs and the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And if you're watching this, you're hearing about this for the first time. I have not put this out on my channel. I haven't done a video about it. I haven't done it in the, said anything in the community tab. So consider yourselves uh, informed ahead of everybody else and that's the reward you get for watching this uh baseball game between the far west giants in japan and the san francisco west giants and brenly is aboard with one out and o'malley up to gucci is the deal today i gotta say so anyway yeah don't miss that card and dice it's full unedited. It's I put some good stuff in there. I've got parts of the actual pregame show that CBS did, um, and I had, and at the end, um, I'm going to say hold the runners, even though there's two outs. Oh no! Oh, you know what? I'm going to pinch it for Blasky. I am because you don't have to warm anybody up. If this was out of the park, I would be screwed because I wouldn't be able to 
warm somebody up uh, fast enough. But we are going to pinch hit against Taguchi, who is a lefty and a 1L. And I am going to pinch hit Reggie Smith against him. Hate to take my man Lasky out this early, but let's face it, we're losing 4 nothing. We got to get back into this quickly. And did he get on base? At least he did. And so Chili Davis is up with the bases full. Two down. Clutch. This is an absolutely clutch situation. And did he hit a home run? Did he tie the game? Tell me he tied the game. Oh, my God, he didn't. It was a fly out deep to the wall. All right. So who are we going to bring in? Who's my next favorite pitcher who's out here? Um, oh, yeah, we're going to bring in. Yes, we're going to bring in Al Holland. And, you know, I have some other stories about Al Holland, too. Actually, really, it's, really, it's a really quick story. Um, the year, I think I had Al Holland that year, too. Al Holland was on my team. But anyway, his card, he had like two automatic home runs and a partial home run on his card which is really not the best guy to be bringing in right now. But, but um, this was the 84 or 85 cards. Um, so we, we, our nickname for him was Home Run Holland. And I remember one time I was pitching Eric Shaw against somebody, and he was shutting the guy out. And the guy that I was playing said, why don't you bring in Home Run Holland? And I said, no thanks, I'd rather stick with Shut Out Shaw. Which was, uh, I, I am usually not quick on my feet like that, but it was, that that remark definitely was. So Joe Morgan's up for us, bottom of the sixth, we're down 4 nothing. I'm wondering if this team is going to get into that. I mean, God, this Yaguchi guy was awesome. And look at that card, it's really not even that good. Jack Clark, he's one for two on the day with a double. Story of my life, nobody can take me out of Candlestick Park except the Yamuri Giants. And Jeff Leonard is up with two down here in the bottom of the sixth. And that is, um, yeah, that's an out. So we go to Taguchi leading off for them. And he's, it doesn't look like he's pinch hitting for him. And of course, why would he? Gucci is shutting us right down. Now, if I'd known the Japanese uh, Yamuri Giants were this good, I would have taken the Yamuri Giants. Because as you know, when I do these car these um, uh, electronic, the, um, you know, uh, PC games with Stratomatic, I always seem to take the losing team. Doesn't matter. And, you know, you can sit there and say, hey, well, you know, what, what sports man, Z, maybe it's your managing. Yeah, maybe, but not like a hundred times out of a hundred times. And really, it's not even, it's really not that. I, I know I won once. I think there was once that I did win. But anyway, um, I digress. Here is Wolford trying to get us started losing for nothing. He's going deep to the wall, but it's going to be a fly out to Yo, I think. And then Bob Brenly is up. And he was over one, but he walked, and he gets a base hit between short and third, so he's going to start us out. O'Malley is up. And, of course, I'm coming up on the pitcher spot again, I think. And O'Malley gets a base hit. Nice. I'm just going to hold the runners. One out. And uh, Johnny Lamaster is up. Yeah, it's not really the pitcher spot, but it's close because Lamaster isn't that good. But he is one two on the day with a double, and that could be a double play. But is it? No, it isn't. But it is two outs. He was he's out. Al Holland is up. I am going to pinch hit for Al Holland with two on and uh, two outs, and we're gonna do Daryl Evans. Daryl Evans is going to pinch hit. There he is. Picture of him. Again, another guy, the young picture, or the young photo, I want to say, of him 
when he was very young playing for the Braves, and he looks like he's going to be out. Thank you, Daryl Evans. So we need another pitcher. I'm going to say maybe Rich Gale. No, he was a starter. He was mainly a starter. We'll go with Gary Lavelle. And no, before you ask me, no, I do not have any stories about Gary Lavelle. I mean, I remember him, and he was a good relief pitcher. Good pitcher. McGee, two for three with a home run. Unbelievable, this guy. And he's out. Thanks. Sakamoto is up top of the uh, eighth with one down. Looks like he's going to, well, either hit a home run or a double. Out! It's an out! All right, so Abe is up. And he is going to ground out to Leonard. So we're back up, but now we only have two more at-bats here. Chilla Davis, top of the order. Did he go deep? Nope, he flew out to the wall. Joe Morgan, story of my life. <coughs> At least this is He is going to ground out. And that brings up Jack Clark. Two down. Losing four and a half. Did he get a base hit? He did. He, he legged out a base hit. Jeffrey Leonard, come on. You, we really you, we need you to go deep to the wall. You got to hit it out. All right. Well, he gets a base hit and he keeps the inning going. And Taguchi is tired. Runners are at the corner with Wolford. How are they going to replace him? And they do with Naka, Nakagawa. And Nakagawa dealing to Wolford. Did Wolford get a base hit? No. So here's Lavelle dealing to Chono, leading off the top of the ninth. And that's going to be a fly out. One down, and Kamai is up. And that's going to be a base hit between first and second. <coughs> Here's Nakai with one down. And he gets a base hit. Lavelle is falling apart on me, and Nakagawa is up. They keep him in to hit. Uh... Let's see. I'm going to throw uh, throw for the runner. <coughs> Two down, and that brings up Yo. And he's out. So we've got one more at bat with Bob Brenly leading us out. And that's going to be a fly to right. Out. Tom O'Malley. Tom O'Malley will be out. And that brings up Johnny LeMaster. And it looks like that's going to be it for the game. So that is it. Let's get the box score. Not that impressive. We weren't that good. Um, you can see the box score for yourself. We uh, <coughs> were only 9 for 33. He was 10 for 36. <coughs> Four hours. And my voice is starting to go, so... Uh, we'll just let you look at the stats for a minute, and then uh, that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.